Hello everyone, uh, myself Vibhu. Today I'm going to discuss about one of the most important, uh, you know, the topic here from physics. So this video is basically I'm making for not only students and the parents who are preparing their uh, kids, son or daughter uh, to the upcoming board exams. Okay, the many parents are panic about their, you know, the kids uh, exams and their preparations and how they will uh, prepare for the exams. You know, really they are panic after the college and taking the many tuitions and all. Okay, so here are the most important uh, 15 questions, which will definitely, uh, you know, appear in the exams. Out of this, at least uh, minimum three to four questions will come in the exam. Okay, these are the most important, uh, you know, the questions I'm discussing here today. Okay, so and whose answers will be discussed in the upcoming uh, videos. Already few answers I have discussed in my previous videos also. Yeah, that's fine here. Uh, so let's see which are the important questions we can expect uh, in the upcoming board exams. The first question is, derive the expression for the electric field at a point on the axial line of an electric dipole. This question is taken from the first chapter. Okay, and uh, number two is, derive an expression for electric field on the equatorial line of an electric dipole. This is the second question we can expect from the first chapter itself. And the third question is, state Gauss law in electrostatics, derive an expression for electric field at a point due to an infinitely long uniformly charged wire. Out of these three questions from the ch first chapter, definitely there will be a one question. So make sure that while preparing, uh, start preparing with these three questions. So definitely you have to uh, write and practice and understand the concept and make sure that without mistake, you are going to write this, represent uh, the answer in the exam. All right, so we'll move to the next slide. Fourth question, define relaxation time of free electrons. Derive the expression for electrical conductivity of a material in terms of relaxation time. This fourth question is taken from current electricity chapter. And the fifth one, derive the expression for equivalent EMF and equivalent internal resistance when two different cells are connected in series and parallel. And next six question, one of the most repeatedly asked question in our previous uh, year question papers. Okay, so if you check any of the question paper, you can see the six questions. Okay, the sixth question is one of the important question. Derive the balancing condition for Wheatstone uh, bridge network using Kirchhoff's rules. So this is again very, very important question I can say here. Okay, so make sure that from current electricity, you have to prepare this question. The first priority from current electricity chapter for the Sixth question, that is Wheatstone Network or Wheatstone Bridge Network. All right. Next, seventh question is, using biot servot law, obtain the expression for magnetic field along the axis of a circular current loop. Again, this is one of the important questions. You have to prepare without pay. Okay. Give first priority for this, uh, you know, the question uh, from moving charges and magnetism chapter. Okay. Again, the seventh question you have to give first priority. Next eighth one is derive an expression for force per unit length between two infinitely long straight parallel current carrying conducting wires. What is the nature of the force if the current are flowing in opposite directions? Or sometime in the same question, there might be another sub question. Define one ampere. Okay, so there are some chances if you observe in the previous year question paper, you will get slight idea about this. 
And next question, ninth one is derive lens makers formula. This is from Ray Optics chapter. Again, this is a, one of the most important questions. I can say that, you know, you have to give priority for this question. Next 10th question is derive the expression for the refractive index of the material of a prism in terms of the prism and angle of minimum deviation. Okay, this is uh, again one of the important question, okay, which basically appeared in previous year, uh, you know, the exams. So give priority for these questions. Next 11th one, obtain the expression for equivalent focal length of the combination of two thin convex lenses in contact. Okay, this is very simplest question, uh, which carries five marks here. So make sure that you have prepared for this question. Okay, next 12th one is, what is photoelectric effect? Mention the experimental observations of photoelectric effect. And this question is taken from dual nature of radiation and matter. And from this chapter, uh, there is no direct five markers. So there are sub questions. There are chances of getting questions with, you know, the sub questions. So out of that, I have taken these questions from the previous year question paper. So we can expect this question from the dual nature of radiation and matter chapter. Next, 13th one, again from the dual nature chapter, write Einstein's equation of photoelectric effect. Give Einstein's explanation of photoelectric effect. Okay, sometimes this question will come for three marks. And if combined together, they will ask for five marks. Okay, next 14th one. What is rectification? Describe with a circuit diagram the working of a semiconductor diode as a full wave rectifier. Draw the input and output waveform. Always, I, you know, the talk about this question. This question is taken from semiconductor chapter. One of the easiest uh, theoretical questions with one of the beautiful uh, circuit diagram. You must prepare for this question without fail. This will be the one of the most important, hottest question you can see in the question paper. Uh, definitely, you have to prepare for this question. Next, coming to the 15th one. Again, describe with a circuit diagram uh, the working of a PN junction as half wave rectifier. Draw the input and output waveform. So I can say that this question, you know, will appear up to 80% of chances and another, you know, the 20% maybe we can expect this question. Okay, similar to the 14th question of full wave rectifier and this is half wave rectifier. Okay, so any one question definitely will come in the exam. If there is no... Oh, 14th or 15th question, then definitely there will be another question. When is PN junction said to be unbiased? Explain the working of PN junction when it is in forward bias and reverse bias question. So this is the, again the 16th question is the combination of the uh, two uh, different, uh, you know, the topic here, forward bias and reverse bias. So we can focus on this also. These are the uh, total 16 important five mark questions. Uh, definitely we can expect in the exam. So I, you know, I would like to say, uh, you know, who are watching this video, uh, definitely give first priority for these questions. And if any parent is watching here, okay, you have to make sure that your son or daughter is go through these questions and give test uh, for them if they are taking any tuitions and make sure that with the tutor he must uh, you know the prepared or explain these questions without any fail okay uh, so hopefully this video is helpful for you people okay so thank you very much for watching this and if you really like this uh, kindly share with your friends relatives and uh, you know others and uh, kindly post your uh, feedback in the comment section. Thank you very much.